Hello, Airbus Cockpit Coach here. You're joining me in the Phoenix A320 and in this video we're going to have a look at the flap and THS field in our MCDUs. And I'll discuss why that is important and what we use that for. So let's jump straight in. Before we do so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and give the video a like. So the first setting there is our flap setting. So this is the setting that we have determined we're going to use for our departure. So today we've calculated for flaps one and we put it into the MCDU so that the system can cross check that we're in the correct configuration. As you can see, we're currently in flap one plus F config, so that's correct. If I was to change that now and select flaps two, you'll see that uh, we have flap MCDU disagree. If I was to change this now to flaps two, you'll see that message now clears. So this is a bit of a fail safe ensuring that we have the correct flap setting in for our departure. So bring that back to flaps one. The next part is THS and this is the bit that confuses quite a few people. So what is the THS setting? So that is basically a trim setting for our trimmable horizontal stabilizer why is that important? So as an aircraft is loaded, the center of gravity will move around and will change on any given flight and will change during a flight as fuel is burnt. So for different loads, we need to adjust our trim to account for the change in center of gravity to ensure that when we rotate on departure, the aircraft behaves as we had expected. Now ideally, we want as least trim as possible. So the aircraft should be loaded in a way that requires the least trim because that is more aerodynamically efficient. Now you may think to yourself, why do we need to adjust the trim ourselves because we're in a fly-by-wire aircraft? And the answer for that is that the auto trim function of the Airbus does not kick in until uh, the aircraft transitions into flight mode, which occurs after liftoff. But this is why it's really important to have the correct trim setting set prior to departure. So in the real world, what we'd normally do is get our trim setting from the load sheet. So we're looking for the MACTOW, MACTO, which stands for the mean aerodynamic cord at takeoff weight. So today we have 30.9. Now in the Phoenix, as we're in at the moment, we do actually get the uh, THS position here as, as down 0.5 today. Not all aircraft have that available, so there is a way of calculating that. So what should be the case is that the trim setting for takeoff of 30.9 equals the trim setting of down 0.5. So if we look at the scale here, if we were to trim 30.5, which is going to be there or thereabouts, come up to our flight control page here and you see we have down 0.5 down 0.5 so that will make sense it matches entering the value in the field itself does not alter the trim that's only there for a visual reference the system doesn't also ensure that you're matching that trim exactly the only thing the system will do with regards to trim when you're checking out your takeoff configuration is ensuring that the aircraft's trim is inside this green band. If I was to throw it out of that green band, for example, and checked our takeoff config by pressing this button here, we, you saw the uh, pitch trim disagree message, so takeoff trim not in range. As long as it's in the green range anywhere, and we run that process again, we will not get that message. So it's not looking for the exact trim. Having the aircraft's trim inside the green range will mean that the aircraft will fly. Obviously, if you're at the extreme of the scale, it's going to feel very different, but the aircraft should still lift off and be controllable. If you don't have your unit of trim, so the, the down 0.5, we need to line up our Mach toe setting of 30.5 and then on this inner scale, 
you see it's sort of halfway between uh, the zero and the one on the downside of the, the zero so it's approximately 0 0.5 these calculations don't have to be too exact as long as it's there or thereabouts obviously you haven't got it a very precise scale as long as they're as good as you can visually get it that is safe this white arrow is the trim index marker and that's what we're lining our trim up with two scales here we've got the center of gravity as the percentage and then we've got our units of trim on the other side things start to become a little more interesting if we had very high trim settings so let's say we had you know a, a takeoff trim of 35 percent you know that's that's getting towards the far end of the scale on the on the down deflection if we were to miss that or not not input that trim setting our rotation is going to feel very different going from both sides of this the scale the rotation can be very sluggish and the aircraft uh, may not react and pitch up to the correct attitude as we'd expect or it can be the opposite and we would over rotate and therefore risk a tail strike of course all these calculations presume that the aircraft has been loaded as per the load sheet uh, there has been a recent example at my operating base where there was a half load of passengers boarding an airbus 321 and most of those passengers thought okay uh, the plane's pretty empty let's all sit at the front and get off the aircraft quicker obviously that shifted the center of gravity of the aircraft and the aircraft therefore failed to rotate correctly at liftoff final responsibility for ensuring the aircraft is correctly loaded does sit with the pilot in command what happened in that particular case was that the captain selected toga thrust managed to increase responsiveness of the elevator controls and the aircraft lifted off there are many examples out there where this has caused issues on takeoff so this is really important for the takeoff phase we're basically ensuring that the the feel of the aircraft is always the same so when we pull back on the side stick on departure the aircraft responds in a similar way so we're always adjusting our trim to take into account the change in center of gravity once we rotate and we enter the flight mode the aircraft will start auto trimming and you'll see the trim wheels move and the aircraft takes over responsibility for that now if we get a computer failure just after liftoff that may not occur and we're therefore still using our manual input so in that situation it's again important that that is correct so we can continue to fly the aircraft with a sensible range of control we must always ensure that our center gravity remains inside our operational limits for the aircraft. We can trim to adjust for any change in center of gravity within this envelope, but once it comes outside of the envelope, we cannot trim and correct for that. So in summary, the initial flight planning and the load sheet are really important. Ensuring that the aircraft is loaded as per the load sheet is very important. Ensuring that our flap settings are correct and we want to make sure our trim settings are adjusted for the takeoff to ensure we get the feel on the controls that we'd expect and can achieve a smooth rotation we must always be inside the green band on trim anything outside of the green band would mean that the aircraft is potentially uncontrollable so hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the flaps and the THS setting and what we use that for some airlines do leave the THS setting blank as the system itself does not make any checks around that and that's down to airline standard operating procedures. The loading of the aircraft, checking the centre of gravity and ensuring you have the correct rim setting are all responsibilities of the pilot in command. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.